Hey, how are you going? Welcome back to my cooking show. Today I am going to prepare lamb rum pepper roast. This is basically a very tasty dish. It's a lamb dish and uh, the recipe is very simple and the main ingredient is the lamb rum boneless. You can see that how beautiful looking lamb rum it is. Of course, lamb rum is a bit expensive uh, meat but however, uh, it will be very tasty. The first thing what I have to do is dice it into small pieces. I have diced the lamp. You can see that now. And I mixed uh, the diced lamp with uh, salt, turmeric, apple cider, means vinegar. Any of the kind of vinegar you can use. I prefer apple cider. Olive oil and black pepper. Other main ingredients are chopped onion, sliced tomatoes, potatoes, curry leaves, green chili, ginger and garlic. Apart from that, we require a bit of ground black pepper. You can buy raw pepper and ground it also, no problem. I normally use the powder. And then cinnamon, nutmeg, rosemary, fenugreek seeds. Please remember you should use maximum one or two seeds otherwise the entire dish will be completely bitter so be careful about that. <clears throat> Apart from that uh, the homemade spice mix this one contains cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg and star anise. And I'm using here for my entire cooking the olive oil. Uh, please remember it is not uh, extra virgin olive oil. I use normal uh, pure olive oil. So that's all the ingredients which I'm going to use for lamb, rump, pepper roast. Now, I'm, now we're going to start with the cooking part. It is very simple recipe. Very easy to cook, a really tasty uh, cuisine. You can try it at your home. I'm going to lit my gas stove. The pan is already on. Let it get heated for a minute. First thing I am going to do is I'm going to pour a bit of olive oil. It's, it's a this olive oil is specifically original from Spain, Spanish olive oil. It's a very, very tasty one. Pour a bit of olive oil. It's getting heated up. Next one, I'm going to put a bit of curry leaves into it. Then two, three pieces of green chili and a pinch of garlic and ginger. Always remember to put it in high heat, otherwise uh, the flavor locking will not happen. My idea is to do the flavor locking. So put in the very high heat. 
Getting ready. Now I'm going to put uh, chopped onions. You can see here. It's an Australian chopped onion, Australian onions chopped very nice, nicely. It's a very yummy uh, and uh, juicy onions. Put the lid on, let it get fried for some time, get statue. Hey, now you can see the onion is getting ready. How beautiful it is. Getting statue nicely. It's tasty. Now, next step is uh, I'm going to put some spice mix and uh, other spices. Move the before doing that. Move the onion to one side because don't put the spices directly into on the top of the onion. Please keep those onions in the one side of the pan and then. Put the spices into the middle of the pan. The idea is we require because you know it's already these these spices are not really uh, heated at the moment. So always for the best taste, heat it a bit, a very very light heat. Reduce the flame maximum, and then put the spices one by one. I'm going to put one or two fenugreek. You can see here in my hand. So I'm going to put next. I'm going to put it because as I did mention, is main one of the main ingredients which is giving the hot flavor is basically um, black pepper. That's why the name itself is lamp rump black pepper. So you can see that I'm going to put. A good amount of black pepper into it. Immediately, just uh, use your uh, ladle to just uh, uh, roast it, roast that particular uh, black pepper part which you put in together with uh, fin and creek. And next is uh, I'm putting. Very little bit of cinnamon, sorry, nutmeg. Can you see here? Very, very little. Only one pinch should come in. Not a lot. Very little. Next one is cinnamon. Again, it's very little. Very little bit only you should put in. Not a lot. Now it's all ready now. Now the saturated onion we already kept aside. Just mix with the rest of the spices. Whatever we put in the moment. Now move that onion again to one side. And this time we are going to put the homemade spice mix. Maximum one spoon should be enough for this one. Put that in, spread it over on the pan, let it get heated up, let it heat up its own. 
Oh, I can see the nice flavor which is coming in now. Amazing aroma. Beautiful, tasty, mouth-watering aroma is coming out. You can see that. Now mix with the saturated onion, the entire spice mix. Now it is getting ready. You can see the blackish color of this one, mainly because of the pepper. Because that's what the main ingredient of, which is giving the hot, uh, hotness of this particular dish, is the black pepper. So you can see that here in this pan. So just roast it properly. Increase the heat a bit. Now our next part is coming. That is tomato. You see, I'm going to put tomatoes on top of this. Very simple. Put the tomatoes. And we are making a very nice paste of the entire spices, onions, tomatoes, everything. Making a juicy and tender um, mash of everything together as a paste. Reduce the flame in this particular stage. You can see now the spice mix and the onion and all the stuff got smashed and nice paste is formed now. Now the next step is basically, it's very simple, just observe what I'm going to do. Our lamp is already ready, it's already marinated with uh, Slightly marinated with uh, some spices and uh, black pepper, apple cider and all those kind of stuff. Again, put in the full flame and then put the entire lamb into the pan. Please remember, don't put any water, don't pour any water, not a single drop of water because water will get, uh, you know, extracted from the lamb itself. You can see that. And we have to fry it basically within this, uh, using this paste, you know. Uh, in this paste, it should get fried and uh, uh, flavor lost, basically. That's why I don't put any kind of uh, liquid or anything this particular point or any kind of, any water or anything. Just, just, uh, uh, cook it its own and please remember Australian lambs are basically pretty fast uh, I mean Australian lambs get cooked very, pretty fast basically so you have to be very careful so it's very easy to cook uh, cuisine you can see that um, now I am uh, mixing that lamb in, in that uh, uh, the spice mix and the mm, of a mash which I made out of the onion and the spice mix and that kind of stuff. So, so it's actually uh, getting cooked in the paste, uh, spice paste. You can see that it's getting cooked. And uh, And now I am going to put my lid on. But remember, keep the lid open a bit because the steam which is coming out from the lamp should go out. Then only it will cook properly. So I am just keeping it open. Now you can see the lamp is getting beautifully cooked. Water is getting extracted out from the lamb itself. 
You can see I didn't pour a single drop of water. Please remember, please don't pour a single drop of water into the lamp until now. This is the time to put the potatoes. So, you can see that my potatoes already diced. Put those potatoes into the lamp. Okay, put in a full flame. Put in the full flame. Let the diced potatoes uh, get fully dipped inside lamb spice mix or the lamb spice paste which we made. That will give the entire nice flavor to the potatoes. You can see that potatoes getting mixed nicely with the lamb. How good it is looking. And of course, the taste will be damn good. You can easily understand from this. It is getting cooked now. Let it get cooked for some more time. And then Put the lid on, remember keep a bit open mainly because the water steam, steam from the water should go out. You can see now the pot potato and lamb is getting cooked very often and this is the time we have to pour a bit of water. I would prefer the hot water because the lamb and the potatoes is getting cooked very very hot flame so pour some hot water into that Yes, again put the lid back and let it get cooked for at least another 15 minutes. Hi guys, now we can see how is our lamb roast is going basically. Let us see how it's going. We can open the lid and let us see how it goes. Oh amazing, beautiful. Excellent. It's getting cooked very nicely. You can see that how beautiful it is. Ah, you can see the boiling noise, you know. From that itself, you can see how yummy it would be. Damn beautiful. Damn nice. Elegant looking. Excellent. That's what he wanted, right? From the beginning, that's what he wanted. So, now next. What is next? Next is very simple. We are adding a bit more extra flavors into this uh, lamb roast. I already mentioned about rosemary before. 
This is an amazing spice. If you never tried this one ever in your life, please try. This is one of the amazing spices you can see. And mainly in the most of the Western dishes they use. And it is uh, gives an immense nice smell, beautiful smell to the uh, any of the any of the cuisines we make. So now I'm going to put the flame up again and I'm just going to pour this amazing rosemary petals into that. You can see that here. See? Excellent. Excellent. Nice looking. Yummy. From the smell and the boiling no sound, we can feel that it is not, not an ordinary lamb roast or anything. It's basically the rum roast, you know, lamb rum pepper roast. The peppery smell, the spice smell is actually catching our nose like anything. Just mix it together. We put the rosemary now, we mix it together everything. I put in a full flame because the rest of the water, water left, the water left in the lamp roast, let it go out completely. That's what I'm doing now. You can see that how good it is going now. And uh, yes, we are done with. We are done with. You see how good it is, how tasty it would be, you can imagine. You can always try this lamb roast with uh, rice or even with uh, roti or naan or any of that kind. Mouth watering lamb rum pepper roast is ready. Try at your home definitely this one. It's an amazing dish. Really mouth watering. You can see the yummy potato pieces in that mixed with the lamb. You should definitely try this one at home and share with your family. And definitely everybody will like it. I'm 100% sure. That's all for the time being. And hope you enjoyed my uh, cooking show. I hope you enjoy my cooking show and um, that's all the end of the story at the moment and um, please subscribe and like my video catch up with you next time bye bye